Good evening. Welcome to the RPI Playhouse and tonight's evening of performance. At this time, we kindly request that you turn off all cell phones and other electronic devices. Also, we remind you that the use of flash photography is strictly prohibited throughout the performance. In the unlikely event of an emergency, please be aware that the fire exits are located at the front right and rear of the theater. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the show. Welcome to all the days of the world of the lives of all of our children. Today's episode, Love Machine. Bonsoir, Captain Penedy, this is Pierre. Ah, oui, bonsoir, madame. A table at 8.15. Très bien. I have written your name in the Greek book. A being told to you, chez madame. Ma question. Excuse me. Oui, monsieur. Mon Dieu. A table for two, please. A table for two. A quiet corner, if you have one. Mm hmm. And do you have a reservation? I do. For two. Under Maple. Maple. Hmm. And has your other party arrived, monsieur? This is my other party. Monsieur, is your companion not a major household of plants? Yes. She's a maple washing machine. She is a washing machine. <laughs> I lost security. <laughs> I see no reservation, and we are full tonight, Thomas. The place is half empty. Au contraire, la place is half full. And as you see, there are no appliances, only people. But this is a maypole washing machine. Perhaps you would like to sit at the bar. But one moment, monsieur. Have I not seen you somewhere? It's possible you've seen me. Ah, oui, la télévision! Are you not the maypole repair person? I am the Maypole Repairman. The Repairman who weeps because he has nothing to repair? Yes. Yes. Who goes boo 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 <laughs> because the machine is not perfect? Yes, that is I. <laughs> it's so sad. It's so, so sad. <laughs> so these commercials are not the other sea. It's my heart, you fool. Who can ever repair my aching, breaking heart? Bonsoir, monsieur. Merci. Like everything else, it all started a long time ago. It was as a naked, crawling infant, I first glimpsed it. A great gleaming machine in our basement, which I mistook for a television. I tried to watch cartoons on it until I was five. <laughs> Unsuccessfully, of course. But by then, I was hooked. Young men take off those filthy clothes immediately. Then there was my great gleaming mother, Flora. How can you stand to stand there in those disgusting, dirty items with hair? Oh, oh, thank you. Flora's fluoroscopic eyes could read me like a menu. Oh, Pepsi, Plato, Dipsy Dog do? Oh, oh, thank you. I should just burn these clothes. But, Mom, I just put these on this morning. <laughs> Fabric's fine filth. Now strip until you're naked as a little ferret. It was a Freudian minefield. <laughs> <laughs> and get in that bath and scrub. The Sphinx in our Oedipal basement was my mother's maple, an old Ocean IT-40. It sat there like a mystical monolith. <laughs> One block in some Tower of Babel. Or is it Babel? Anyway, in our house, the Maypole was a god. Week after week, generating out of my miserable play, the radiant angels who oversaw my childhood. I was a walking magnet for filth. Here was the machine to cleanse me. We were a perfect match. Hi, Annie. Hi, Mabel. 
Then there was Mabel. Mabel was perfect too, in a flawed human way. She always had a spot of jelly on her blouse. But she was loving, and she was tender, and her name sounded like Maypole. <laughs> you got a spot on your blouse. It's jelly. You want to like go to like a movie or something? You want to hop up on the washer and take a spin? Manny, how come we always got to make out on your mother's maypole? Well, like, what's so like weird about that? Do we have to run a full load while we do it? <laughs> I mean, the vibrations are kind of nice, but... But the maypole... I know, I know, it's like perfect. A machine that's faultless and flawless and has none of our stupid human feelings or failings? The maypole is poetry. It's purity, a paragon, perfection cubed. But like, what about me? Do you like, like me like you like the Ocean 1940? And aren't you the love of my life? You are. Gosh, Mabel. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to choose. Me or the machine? Earth or the machine? A handkerchief? She's something, isn't she? She's a thing. 
anyway. <laughs> what happened to girls? You might try talking to her. I don't want to talk to her. You might offer her some dirty napkins. I will not offer my guests dirty napkins. You could offer her some food at least. Could I offer you some Freud at least? <laughs> yes, yes, I know I'm just replacing my mother by dating a washing machine. I know I'm obsessed. Yes, I'm obsessed. But hasn't half the glory of humanity come from obsessed assholes with a dream? Or are we all just appliances in the service of a higher manufacturer? Don't you get it? The machine and I are soulmates. <laughs> That's beautiful. But she's alienating my relatives. She's blocking the comments. Nobody understood. But who understood Romeo and Juliet? Tristan and his old, Lewis and Clark. <laughs> then came what I thought would be the happiest day of my life. The day I graduated to Maple Repairman. No! No, don't do it! <laughs> he says, or friend, don't pack the toolbox! Leave, run away, flee to the ends of the earth, but for God's sake, Forsake the maple! I know you thought this would be the happiest day in your life. I thought so too. But look at me now, a sad victim of the technological pixelation of our age. A sacrifice to seamless design. A love slave of the machine. <laughs> yes! I too attain the toolbox. I bore the bow tie and cap. I rose to the top of the maypole bowl, drawn on by her. And I didn't even have the Ocean IT 40 with automatic lift control and gyroscopic spin. <laughs> the IT 20 was too much for me. And do you know, they're working on a super IT 90. How clean can we be? <laughs> May I? Do you think I was 
your machine, but I'm a ghost to you. For oh, I was in love for 15 years. It's terrible. No! Yeah! We! Because <laughs> we communicated so well. Oh, now I can barely get a dial tone. <laughs> Gabriel, a table for you. Manny, is it you? Is this Mabel? It is Mabel. is basically Brian has tried to smuggle something into the country. What, uh, what has he tried to smuggle into the country? Nuclear detergent. <laughs> okay. Nuclear. <laughs> Nuclear detergent. And now uh, where has he tried to smuggle this in from? What uh, place? Paraguay. Me, what is it? Paraguay. Paraguay. I know Pakistan. nothing about Paraguay. So. Pakistan. Chile. 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 Russia. We'll go Russia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and what vehicle has he tried to smuggle it over the border between uh, Russia and Russia? What is it? Submarine. Submarine. <coughs> submarine. Submarine. He took a submarine. submarine. All right, so he's trying to smuggle <laughs> nuclear, nuclear detergent. detergent from Russia <laughs> in, in a submarine. submarine. <laughs> and he has to try and guess based on uh, the clues we give him. All right. All right. I'll go and get him. All right, buddy. All right. Hey. All right. Yeah. yeah. Careful. Nice try. Yeah. Take us. Just have a seat. Have a seat. So. And do it. Don't talk unless you're spoken don't, to. Don't say. We caught you with it. We have the bag right here. So it doesn't mean nothing. <laughs> we have explicit proof that you tried to smuggle this into the country. Video. And video. <laughs> doesn't mean nothing. So, why don't you just come clean? Where did you get it, huh? Where'd you get it? Because I've never even heard of it before. <laughs> it's an odd thing this is. Is it high efficiency? <laughs> yeah, it is. So what? So what? 
Like my washing machine's very efficient. What were you trying to clean out? Huh? Only my conscience. <laughs> well, apparently you're gonna need an extra heavy load. <laughs> After this little debacle. So what were you doing any there, uh, over in that area anyway, huh? I was, uh... Because you're not dressed appropriately at all. <laughs> I was, uh, seeing my grandmother. So what? What of it? She's still over there? She's like, I didn't take you for that. You don't look... Yeah, you don't look no. anything like her. <laughs> I figured, like, I don't know, Polish? Or, I don't know, Italian? Caucasian? Caucasian. You're pretty much Caucasian. <laughs> And where did you take this, the, your, your vehicle from there as well? Yeah. So what? I can ride in this little scooter things. That's all right. <laughs> scooter. scooter. Is that what is they that call it? Is that what they call now? it? Is that one of your <laughs> slang terms? Might be. Your made-up nicknames, if you will? It could be. I like having nicknames for things. So what? It doesn't matter. You can't prove nothing. Tell about me. any of the things I've been not doing, because I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've already established that you've done it, because that's why you're here. We caught you doing it. Exactly. Yeah, not really, though, right? <laughs> video. <sighs> <laughs> we have video. What we want is you to actually confess to the camera what you did. You could be a star. Yes. You we think so? Absolutely. Absolutely. Think of all the talent that comes out of that region. Mm -hmm. You and your fresh and clean. <laughs> and, you know, you, you've got to keep your clothes fresh and clean, too. Absolutely. I mean, it seems like you got the passion for it. I mean, you certainly smell radioactive. <laughs> Which, I wonder, does that, is it like contaminate your clothes as well as clean them? Or is it just really good? At cleaning. Oh, it's really good at cleaning, coming from Bel Air. Bel Air. Oh, so you just kidding, right? Exactly. <laughs> Got you guys. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a big place. Is there a Bel Air there too? Oh, there's a there's a Bel Air there's a Bel Air everywhere. You just gotta look for it. He's trying to be sly. I guess somewhere in the snow. Yeah, he's being a. He's trying to be sly. Hmm. I wonder how'd you keep it melted? It's yeah. cold over there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it is. But does it have a high? In order to get my dishwasher, point? To, in order to get my washing machine detergent over there. Yeah. Hmm. What kind? High efficiency. Oh. I see. It was high efficiency then. Yeah, it was. Okay. Hmm. I wonder. If see, he had anything the thing is, you know, normal laundry detergent would not be a problem. <laughs> but this is not normal. <laughs> Did you blow up that plant? <laughs> Alright, tell me. I this. might have had explosive laundry detergent. It doesn't matter. Explosive? Mm. I guess it could be explosive given the right circumstances. Mm -hmm. Like if you put it into the reactor of your vehicle. It might have been nuclear. So what? Alright. That's alright. So what? So where'd you get this vehicle, huh? It's not like they just, you know, sell them at Home Depot. <laughs> Well, actually, they had to sell at Lowe's, so uh, <laughs> make sure to head on over there. What are you, Lowe's. I think he's messing with us again, and I don't like it. I don't like it either. I don't like it. Mm. It's a slippery slope. <laughs> Video. <laughs> well, all right, all right. I've been skiing a little bit. Skiing? skiing. I guess you could ski there, but uh, that would not carry you from there to here. Unless it was frozen. Ooh. Very cold. Very cold. And you got a bowl to push it. Let's just say the border between this place and the United States is very big and multiple lines thick. <laughs> Cross an ocean or something? Yes. I might have been to Spain. A Ooh. big unfrozen ocean. Keep going. <laughs> keep, keep going. It's hey. kind of warm in Spain. <laughs> It might have been Portugal. <laughs> oh. Now he's just toying with He's me. just messing with me. He's toying with, with me. Mm. You want some coffee? I think it's going to be long. Can I get you a sub? 
Yeah, just um, um, a hero. Hero self. You, you want the coffee? Oh, thanks. <laughs> hey, uh, what about me? You don't get a sub because you already apparently have a problem with them. Mm. <laughs> See where I'm uh, going with this? <laughs> I might have been to uh, Taiwan, Japan. I guess you kind of have to pass that way. I guess. It's one way to get there. I've also been to the Himalayan mountains. Getting colder, but warmer at the same time. Yeah. Also the North Pole and the South Pole. All right, you skipped over a whole big area between the Himalayas and the North Pole. Look, fellas, 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 all right? Look, look, listen. Look, listen, all right? We're already doing both of those things. <laughs> I've been to a lot of places, and I've seen a lot of things, yeah. and I've done a lot of things, but all of them are good. All of them. You know what's good? What? This sub. <laughs> <laughs> Seems good. You should dwell on the sub. <laughs> I am dwelling. Dwelling like a fella. Oh, yeah, you're a felon, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not, though. But if I was, I'd be dwelling like a felon. I'm pretty sure it's us that get to decide who you're, who's the felon and who is not. <laughs> Mr. Nuclear Laundry Detergent. Listen, I like my clothes clean, and I like them done right. Yeah. So you got to use, use nuclear stuff. I'm so mad. He's just, he's so frustrated. Why won't you just tell us, huh? Did you forget? Punk? Maybe I can jog some of your memory. Maybe you can just confess, huh? Mm. Give you a little well, butt kicking, huh? Oh. You want some of that? <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> Alright, I might have been to one of those countries where they do that type of dance. <laughs> oh. Listen, I don't want to feel like we're rushing you. But we got a lot of places to be. All right, all right. I might have been to Russia. Okay. You caught me. Yeah. About time, geez. Would you like the rest of this sub? I would. By the way, I came here to sub. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get him out of here. All right, <laughs> let's give this guy another spin. One, two, three. Big money, big okay. money, big money. No whimmy. <laughs> So the way this game works is the three, uh, Davey, Ben, and Rachel, are going to be uh, famous people having lunch together in a cafe. But they each individually do not know who they are and must guess based on what the other people say. So Davey is off in our soundproof booth right now. Yes. Okay. Um, so what is Davey? Davey is going to be a famous historical figure. I need something from you guys. <laughs> Lincoln, okay, there's a resounding Abraham Lincoln okay. vote. All right. All right. Bring it back. All right, now uh, Ben is going to be a famous cartoon character. Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle. He will be Bullwinkle. <laughs> okay. All right? Okay. All right. <laughs> and Rachel is going to be a famous um, pop culture icon. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. All right. 
It's about time you got here. What can I say? I, I can't help but be late to everything. I know, that doesn't really surprise me. Yeah, you're probably tied up in some closet with a woman or something. <laughs> well, you know, whatever entertains me. Yeah, it's pretty well known what entertains you. And most of it illegal. Yeah. Let, let, let's keep that, you know, on the DL. Oh, hello. Can I get your guys' drink orders today? Yeah, I'll have a uh, dirty martini. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, okay. And for you? I'll have some water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's your usual. Uh, I'll have something very alcoholic. Bourbon. <laughs> bourbon? Yeah, yeah bourbon. bourbon. I get a triple. <laughs> Yeah, yes. Yeah, All sounds right. great. All right, I'll be right back with that. So, how'd you fit through the doorway? Yeah. You must have to turn sideways all the time. Mm. Yeah, well, sometimes. They don't really make doorways for your kind. I really have to use a lot of dub like double doors, ah. generally. Yeah, and ah. like crouch down, too, because, mm. I mean, pretty tall. Mm. Well, you know, some, some doorways are made for my height. But, uh, I mean, it must have been the same for you with your hat. Yeah, I mean, mm. sometimes I take it off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he knows the, the rules of conduct. You take your hat off before you step in, you know. I'm surprised you're telling him about rules of conduct. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I know them. That doesn't mean I have to follow them. He would say that. <laughs> uh. I mean, so how's the show going? Kind of rocky, you know. I, I, I really. <laughs> it from everyone I hear, it's going pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. That's good to hear. You know, because I'd like to think that I'm acting insane for some reason. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I have a question. How did you learn to stand up? I mean, yeah. most of your family and friends, and uh, I guess general group uh, of association maybe race yeah i didn't want to generalize like that uh, but like you're usually on all fours mm. um but you <laughs> walk around standing tall you know well took a long time but after growing up in the forest sometimes you just had to walk tall <laughs> True. i bet your little friend helped you learn as well I mean, mm. you never got the flying down, but at least you can walk around. Yeah, well, to each his own. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. That's true. I'm surprised you're even here right now. Yeah. Well, I'm full of surprises. <laughs> All right, I, I have your guys' drinks. It's your martini. Oh, thank you. And your water. And, you know, I'm really sorry. I couldn't get you a triple, but I did manage two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he doesn't remember uh, last night or what show he's on. Not at all. <laughs> so, um, I guess I, I haven't seen your show on in a while. Um, yeah. I mean, I think it got canceled uh, like 30 years ago or something. But, uh, I watched it on Boomerang for a while. Uh, but, yeah, I, I can't track it down anymore. Well, yeah. We used to get a lot of money off like syndicating it, but yeah. after a while, no one really wanted to watch a cartoon like me anymore. Yeah. Whichever I, I, one I am. I'm trying to find it on microfilm, but I just can't do it. Uh, so, how, how's that kid doing? I mean, when, his voice is eventually going to change, and he's going to grow a beard, and he's not going to be funny anymore. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? I mean, you can only help them so much, and then they have to help themselves. That's true. All right, can I take your guys' order right now? Anything, anything to eat? Maybe a starter? Uh, pizza? Pizza. Okay, yeah, pizza. I'll have some... Some grass? Yeah. Some tall grass. <laughs> right. Some pasture. Yeah, no, that's perfect. Um, I'm really looking for a recommendation, actually, from the menu. Mm. Uh, or maybe if you have any specials. You know, um, 
I think maybe a steak for you. Um, I know that's not much of a recommendation, but if I could recommend a play afterwards. Mm. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, I'm not really a fan of plays anymore. Yeah. I, mean, I guess I guess you wouldn't be. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back with that. So, uh, why'd they put your head on so much money? Well, I was the best looking president. <laughs> I mean, I think that's all relative, but... Eh. You're one to talk. Eh. <laughs> eh. Hey, hey, what are you getting on me for? I think you're just intimidated by my top hat. It reminds me of your arch nemesis. Because he was so well dressed. Mm. Whatever happened to your arch nemesis? I don't know. I think they got. I think they got. De I think they got deported back to Russia. Oh right. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's. Pretty well, good. they, they might have left within their own free will. I'm not sure. They weren't really Americanized enough to live here. Oh, definitely not. I mean, mm -mm. yeah, they kept tying people to railroad tracks and mm. stuff like that. So. Yeah, there's. There's really no railroad tracks to tie people to anymore around. I mean, it's all subways and stuff. Yeah. It's not out in the open on the plains like it used to be. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm really surprised at your food order. Uh, I come to think of it, I'm surprised you didn't order like a rack of ribs or something like that. Yeah. Mm. Why would I eat something that might have come from me? <laughs> well, I mean, there's no meat really on your rack. This is true. This is true. There might be moss on there from when you like, you know, do your thing on the, on the, trees. On the tree. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, I have your pizza. All right. And your um, your grass. I'm sorry, oh. it's a little bit rocky. And um, <laughs> here's your steak, sir. I'm only gonna pay in five dollar bills and pennies. You know what? <laughs> that is just to be expected. All right. Actually, I had a quick question for you. Um. Given your name, were you like not quite a bull, or did you just not quite make it? Did right. people call you a bull when you were little, teasing you and stuff? Yeah, is that is that where it came from? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, my friend Rocky was there to be by my side. Oh, that's so good. I mean, he just helped me through a lot, but a lot of times he just flew away and they <laughs> didn't do much. Mm. All right, enjoy your food. Mm. So, I mean. Do you ever just decide to stay home one night out of the week, ever? No, nah, I don't need to be home. Why should I be home for my family? Well, you have a family. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you I and mean, your liver just really won't be able to take it for that many more years. I mean, or you've your had nose. this crazy reputation. Yeah, your nose, too. I mean, you must be breaking out in nosebleeds all the time. Um, you've been like, you've led this crazy lifestyle for like at least 20 years. Yeah, well, you know, I, I can't help it. And you were so clean cut in Wall Street. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but seriously, I mean, you, you wore those really nice suits in Wall Street, and now it's just bowling shirts. <laughs> but the hair stays the same. I don't understand. Right, right. It's getting a little gray, isn't it? Not no. really. No. 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 <laughs> good, Michael good. Douglas, he went downhill, but Not you, you. you're hanging in. Hey guys, how's your food doing? It's tough. It, it's really yeah. tough. I don't want to eat it. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Here, yeah. I'll take that back. I'm brutally honest. And actually, um, I've been told for you a complimentary service to brush your hair until it has a nice sheen to it. <laughs> and, uh, perfect. All right. I'll take this back and get you one of those. <laughs> Your hair is very sheeny. Yeah, I put an extra special shampoo in it so it has a nice shine. I thought it was more naturally sheeny. Like, like you were born with yeah. this sheen about you. <laughs> Bestowed with the sheen. <laughs> Uh, you know, I actually, I want to make a phone call. Um, well, yeah. Yes. Can, I, can I have a phone, please? Oh, yeah, here, yeah. I have one in my here. phone. Here, all right, yeah. Here you go. Emilio! <laughs> hey! I've got your brother here. No, Emilio! 
I, I, your phone stinks. I'm, it's terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, yes. Ugh. I don't. It's fine. It's all the Charlie Brown stickers. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, when, when you took this new show, I mean, did you yeah. really see it going very far? I mean, no, it, not at all. I was really surprised that it went well. Yeah, it's 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 done gangbusters. I mean, it's it's it had the first season, which was great, uh, and now we're on like I don't know, season six. It's, it's fantastic. You've managed to only wear three different shirts um, <laughs> and cargo shorts. I mean, they were in style when the show started, um, but. You know, now you're just you're carrying them on your back. You know, I, it's it's just uh, that thing about you that you're able to make anything attractive, and you're such a smooth talker all the time. We're gonna say, <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just about ready to leave. I think I could sign my check. Yeah, would you guys like maybe a dessert order or the check? Dessert would be wonderful. <laughs> All yeah. cool writing. Hmm. Um, um, what could I What could I get for you guys today? Big hot fudge ice cream sundae, maybe? Maybe. Would you like me to um, serve it to you with some women on the side? <laughs> I think, no, no. Hey. What he means is he wants a woman with a big hot fudge sundae all over her. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, yeah. that's our special today. I got, yes, got that. Yeah. I, but I mean, I guess that's your special every day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe every two and a half days, maybe. I mean, we're all men here. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I'm I'm half dead, so it's really we're two and a half men. Yeah. So. Yeah, I know my show Two and a Half Men's fabulous. Yeah. But. You know what other show is fabulous? You have you Charlie have, Br Charlie or yeah, yeah Charlie, Charlie Brown's Charlie Christmas. Brown. I love that movie. That's that is one. great. Yeah. I really like Charlie the Unicorn too. His coat yeah. has a great sheen to it. It just. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite you, restaurant's also Charlie really, Brown's. Yeah. You really do drink a lot. I, I can't believe you have this severe brain damage after your years of alcoholism. Hey, 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 you know, being Charlie Sheen and all, I can't help yeah. it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh. So, um, you yeah. know, actually, we just ran out of ice cream. Do you guys just want the check? Please. Yes. Fine. Yeah. All right, here you go, and here you go, and um, there you are. All right, Abe Lincoln. Bullwinkle. Charlie Sheen. <laughs> All right. That's why I'm going to same occupation with the same weapon. So he's kind of easy to track. So what uh, uh, what place does he always kill his victims in? The zoo. The zoo. He always kills people in the zoo. All right. And he always kills people of the same occupation. What kind of people does he always kill? He always, he always kills nurses. All right. And he always uses the same very, very identical. Chainsaw, chainsaw, chainsaw. He always uses the chainsaw. All right, so the way this game works is I'm going to say one, two, three, and after that, everyone has to yell, kill him. Okay? Ready? Is everybody ready? So I'm ready. One, two, three, kill him! Wait, who's going? I don't know. <laughs> All right then. What were the three things again? You're not. Oh. <laughs> Am I supposed to summarize? <laughs> 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 
You tell him. I don't know. Oh, I didn't go away. Oh, my goodness. Jabba! Jabba, Jabba, Jabba. 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 Java. Java? 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 Java. 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 Oh! Java. 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 Hmm. Ah, Java. 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 Java, 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 Jump, 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 jump,
I don't know which one is worse. Objection. It's not bad if you breathe it in on purpose. <laughs> Objection. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's obviously bad even if you breathe it in on purpose. That does, doesn't change. Objection. Look what happens if you breathe it in on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I have lived for years in a swamp and I breathe the gas when I sleep. I sleep Objection. on the floor. I would not call that living. <laughs> These kind of people, these are like the molds that grow on the food if you leave it in your refrigerator for way Objection, too long. Objection, technically I'm a mold now. <laughs> <laughs> way Objection. too long. Mold can uh, be made of penicillin. Penicillin was a mold. It saves people lives. Sustained. Objection. <laughs> Not all molds are bad. Sustained. Ah, come on. <laughs> Objection, we're at RPI. That should not be considered too geeky. <laughs> come on, we're at RPI. We should all know that Objection. kind of stuff. Objection, he's old. Yes. Objection. Have you been eating fog? No. Objection. <laughs> I'm 400 years old. <laughs> Objection. It creeps me out. Can I please not stay? Yeah. I just want to get up here. Where did the fog go? <laughs> Objection. Where's it's the right fog? there. You can see it. Overruled. Objection. Let me go get oh, some I'm in my swamp. There's no fog. <laughs> Objection. I am fogged. <laughs> Objection! I can't see! Overruled. Objection! I'm fog. <laughs> Objection! Out of the fog came a man. <laughs> Objection! I don't have the foggiest idea of what's going on anymore. <laughs> what the heck? We started with Way fog. too punny. Way too punny. I couldn't. I uh, didn't get it. Hey! Objection! Got, got... It's because he's old. <laughs> Objection! I don't know if that was suggestive or just weird. Overruled. Objection! Yeah, I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you whippersnappers, <laughs> improv troops, they don't know Objection. the first thing. Objection! I'm the fog! <laughs> Objection! <laughs> Objection, let me kick the fog around like he did in the beginning. <laughs> oh. Objection, I want the fog back. Yeah, I want the fog back. Sustain. <laughs> Objection, please. Oh. Objection. Objection, thank you. Sustain. <laughs> please and thank yous are very important. You must have Objection, good memories. Objection, 28 seconds left. People. If you press people, they like you. Objection, There's 28 sustain. seconds left in this game. Objection so over rule. Objection, he's dead. Thank you. Objection, cadet turned into a cadet, cadet case. Okay. <laughs> Objection, Objection. What? Face case. What? Case. Objection. It doesn't matter. My hand is up. This is my hand. Hey, hey, can't see Objection, I am doing jumping jacks. Objection, I am the hand. Objection, jazz hands. Jazz hands. <laughs> Do it. So that's all for us. From Sorry. right to left, we have Rachel, Brian, Ben, Savannah, Brian, Cadet Turner, Davey, <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Matt, Clarissa, Nick, Partha, and I'm Kevin. Thank you for coming. Thanks. Thank you. Here, 
Have a banana. It will help pass the time. I don't want a banana. Lunch is over. I'm finished. <laughs> Forward, march. One, two, one, two. And you, the me, Mama? What am I? Then? Staring at your coffee like a, a mummy. A but, but really, Hilda Todd. Like father, like daughter. The two of you are absolutely impossible. A but I told you. I can't very well pour it down past the throat, can I? It's too hot. Hot? Hot. Well, I got up and told the conductor to stop right there. I got off in a huff. 
I wasn't going to stay on that train another minute. I hope you were fun at half your fare, at least. My fare? That was the least of my worries, believe me. After all, six sous. Well, unfortunately, I hadn't gone more than a few steps when I realized my handbag was still on my seat with my purse inside, full of money. No. Yes, 46 francs and 25 centimes. Some sex fiends might be honest. <laughs> That's why I'm going to the police station. Maybe somebody turned it in. I'd better change you to something fancy, don't you think? They're always much more polite to you when you come in wearing lots of frills. I never noticed. And when you look pretty. Oh, oh yes. Go do your best. I beg your pardon! Oh, 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 I said, oh, do get this. Oh, do get this. No, you need to. I mean, Excuse me, Madame Lecoq. 
No, no, monsieur. I, I mean, does she live here? Of course she does. She's my wife. Ah, she must be married. Well, one would think so. Oh, well, good, monsieur. That makes things so much easier. It does? Oh, much. Easier than what? I'll explain in a moment, monsieur. All in due time. Well? I'm returning this handbag. Oh, you mean the one that killed the dog? The one the man that caught that left in the tram last night? Precisely. Took the liberty of opening it. Look inside, you understand? Yes, yes. I couldn't do the last one without the form. No, no, quite all right. And I found your name and address, sir, Dennis Vidal. Yes, yes. And 46 francs and 25 centimes. It's all there, down to the last centime. Oh, I, I don't doubt it, monsieur. I'm, we're terribly grateful, madame and I. I won't insult it by offering a reward. Just a few well-chosen words of appreciation, and it's all too rare in this day and age to find someone so honest, so considerate. You're a gentleman. My congratulations. Thank you, monsieur. And now that that's taken care of, we can talk about another little problem. We can, if I may. Please, I insist. What kind of problem? An affront to my honor. Madame Lecoq, if you don't mind my saying, is rather free with her hand. You mean you're the one? The man she... What? In the eye, as I think you can see. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, indeed. I think I proved my point. Uh, yes, I suppose. But you have to admit, you did have it coming. I did. <laughs> After all, you asked for it. Excuse me, monsieur, but your meaning eludes me. Well, really, gentlemen, don't go around stroking strange ladies' feet unless they get the permission. That is. Strange ladies what? Oh, of course, play dumb. I suppose you deny it. It's monsieur. Choking my wife's foot last night. What? In the trap! I beg your pardon. I never. Then why did you bend down? Why did you whisper sweet nothings, if I may ask? Sweet? I was stroking my dog, Monsieur, my Pekingese, my little chin chin. Oh. She was under the seat, but she wouldn't keep still, so naturally I bent down and tried to, you know, pretty baby, pretty baby. Oh, it's mine. And my wife, with the fancy shoes, the ones with the fur. She thought, what she thought? <laughs> Pretty baby. <laughs> I'm glad to find it so amusing. <laughs> amusing? It's hilarious. Oh, the other guy you thought. <laughs> Houses. No, no, portrait painting. 
At least that's what everyone says I do best. Oh. If you know anyone who'd like one done, they're 40 francs. 40? In oils, of course. Oh, of course. Not exactly a fortune. No, I should say. Well, have you made up your mind? On a portrait? <laughs> no, no, monsieur. First things first. Do I kiss your wife or do I kill you? It's one or the other. <laughs> Just like that? Kiss my... They kiss my... You have to admit, it's not every day that... May I kiss your wife, monsieur? Me, you have to admit. I admit. Now, what have you decided? Well, I suppose. That is, if she doesn't mind. I mean, what's the harm? As long as you don't enjoy it. Oh, I wouldn't be sure I would. <laughs> and as long as I'm watching, you understand. Quite all right. You'll disturb me. Of course, I will have to discuss the matter first with Madame Lecoq. Certainly. I think it's only proper. Very well. If you'll give me a few minutes, please, make yourself comfortable. I won't be very long. God, she'll never. First he strokes her foot, now I ask her to kiss him. Oh, never. Never in a million years! Well, that wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but I think I handled you fair rather well, all things considered. A kiss for a slap, what could be more gallant? And for a pretty young thing, hot tempered, passionate, they'll love it down at the club. Tonight, over a glass of Saint Amigo, three francs a bottle. You mean you kissed her? Yes, that's what I said, I kissed her. What panache! <laughs> What's keeping her? You don't suppose she said no? Oh my, a man. Well, well, she's worth waiting for. Madame. Who is he, I wonder? Permit me to say how grateful I am to be the victim, the happy victim, of a momentary lapse. A customer, I imagine. Uh, no hard feelings, Madame, no hard feelings. Especially since the remedy will amply repair any minor discomfort. Monsieur? Oh, more than amply. Trams are such a nuisance, but I'm really not sorry. He came by tram. Poor thing, she's so embarrassed. Come now, stay by my This won't take long. Monsieur? Are you ready? Ready? But for what? To make amends, madame. After all, there's nothing that can't be mended if we put our minds to it. Even on her. Oh, you had something to be mended, monsieur. Why didn't he say so? Yes, madame, that's one way of putting it. And this one must be yours, monsieur. It was brought in yesterday to have the lilac sewn back on. That? Mine? I hardly think so. I seldom wear a hat. Any kind of hat. And even when I'm painting. Painting, monsieur? Yes, portrait mainly. If you know anyone who like one done, they're 40 francs. In oils, of course. I see, I see. Oh, well then, what was it you had in mind, monsieur? What was it I... You mean, he didn't tell me. Who, monsieur, tell me what? Your, uh, monsieur Lecoq, didn't he? Papa! Papa? Oh, what did Papa have to tell me, monsieur? Papa, 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 good God, it's his daughter. Uh, Madame, uh, mademoiselle, he's your daughter, that is... He's your father. Uh, yes, of course. And, and you have a mother. Why, yes. <laughs> and she went <would> shoots. <laughs> sure. Fancy ones with fur. Yes, sometimes when it's cold. Damn, it's her mother. She's no spring chicken either. Excuse me, mademoiselle, but may I ask how old you are? Why, well, I'm 18, monsieur, but I really... And your mother, how old was she when she married your father? I beg your pardon? Let's say 18, more or less. That's 18 and 18 is 36, give or take. No, she's no chicken. May I ask, does she still have all of her hair? Monsieur? All the same color, I mean, all still black. Brown, monsieur, but I really Whatever, don't... Whatever, but not gray. I really don't... Oh, I know, monsieur. I know why you're here. You're a painter, and you're here to paint a portrait of her, of course. Not exactly, mademoiselle. I'm here on a rather emotional mission. Emotional, monsieur? Terribly delicate. Oh my, he must be a... Of course, he's a suitor. Papa didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I can't go into detail. Just believe me when I tell you that I certainly hope you look like your mother. You do? Yes, perfectly. My goodness, monsieur, why? Well, because then she would look like you and... and yes? And well, it would make things so much easier. Monsieur? In the tram, I mean. In the... He's so nervous, poor thing, he doesn't even know what he's saying. <laughs> My chin chin. It was dark and, and the shoes. Oh, good heavens, he's babbling. No, I'm afraid I really can't go into detail, into detail but just believe me when I tell you that the more I look at you, the more I get this feeling. A feeling, monsieur? Tell me, could you persuade it that is, uh, if your mother had a debt, would you be willing to pay it? A debt? Mama? So to speak. Oh, what kind? Oh, what do I have to do? Nothing. Just stand there and let me do the rest. Monsieur. Just pretend I have a secret. Something to whisper in your ear. 
And today, you won't forget. Damn it, too late. Because if not, well, you will see to it, my child, today. My, her child, that's her mother. Yes, of course. <laughs> not bad. And the city then? My sentiments exactly, but not. Monsieur? No time left, present. Quite. Now this won't hurt a bit. That's a bygone be bygone, shall we? You, you beast! <laughs> you, you! I'm 
the shoe, you know, the ones with the furs, the shoes. Now I've heard everything, and you believed him? Bro, of course. If you saw him, you'd believe him too. Heaven forbid. Poor chap. He didn't know what to say. He was all apologies. Oh, oh please, monsieur. Please tell my dad how dreadfully sorry I am. Indeed. But that's what he said. Dreadfully sorry. <laughs> and then I hope she can find it in her heart to forgive me. Oh. Really, it was pathetic. Well. And it wasn't his fault. No, I suppose you're right. To err is human. My sentiments exactly. And to forgive. Just don't let him show his face in this house again. <laughs> what? I can't be responsible for what I might do. But he's coming back at 2 o'clock, he says so. He's what? What is heaven coming for? What possible reason? To, to beg you to forgive, to hear from your voice, silly heart, and to ask, to ask, oh, good God. To ask me what? To ask you to give him uh, something. And what, may I ask, the reward? No, no, no. A kiss, just a little one. I beg you. You must be out of your mind. I mean, to let him give you up. You want to do a thing, to stand there and... You're not, you can't be serious. Good God, for me, just a little one. Never But why not at your age? What's the hole? <laughs> just like that, as a man I've never met, an absolute stranger? But he brought back the handbag. My handbag, bitch! Would you have me kiss every man who brought back my handbag? No, it's just that. Thank God it wasn't my belief! I can only imagine! It's just that this one... Stop. There's more to this than meets the eye. More, more? More what? Stop pretending! Now what is this about? Well, if you must know, yes, you're right. There's more. Much more. Either you kiss him, or he charges me to a duel. There, now you know. So? <laughs> <laughs> so? Is that all a duel? People fight them all the time. Yes, people, but... <laughs> but what? Teach him a lesson. You're not afraid, are you? Afraid? Oh, God, of course I'm not afraid. Was I afraid when I served my country? Was I afraid when I faced death in the National Guard every day? I'm not afraid. Not for me. Not for myself. I don't care about myself. But the thought of you, Lord God, and Selene, to leave you both defenseless and unprotected. Two waves alone on this sea of degradation and corruption we call Paris. Flotsam and Jetsam, my wife and my daughter. Gustav, dearest. And my business. The thought of leaving this nice little business after all my work. And just when things are beginning to and now that you're no longer. I mean, I already made my fortune. If I were already rich, why? I wouldn't think twice. Yeah! Just like that. As long as I thought that you and she. Gustav, please. I know how much you don't need me. I know that I saw some use on this earth. Of course you. I want to help you any way I can. Believe me. Then you mean you'll... It's just letting a strange man kiss me. It's unheard of. It's... But I'll be watching. That's even worse! <laughs> Besides, I'll be doing it behind my back. Still. Really, Thunder God, you're making a mountain out of moleskins. Make believe it's New Year's Day or your birthday or something. And a young man walks up to you and wants to kiss you. A stranger? An absolute stranger? Well, make believe he's not a stranger. Make believe it's, it's the grocer. What? It's not God. For me. For her. For us. I'll try, Gustav. Really, I'll do my best. Thank you. I know I can count on you. Just give me a minute to put away my things.
How does she return? I'll go call my wife. And Mademoiselle? Mademoiselle Mademoiselle, your daughter. What about her? Is she at home too? She's at work, that's where she should be. Ah, delightful creature. As industrious as she is beautiful. An angel, monsieur. An angel. Yes, quite. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go get my wife. Perhaps you'll have contained her portrait, a beauty like her. Oh, my wife? <laughs> you must be joking. No, no, monsieur, your daughter. In oils, of course. For 40 francs? I don't think so. For nothing, monsieur. For you, free of charge, professional courtesy. Just the same. Not even if you pay me. Oh. Day after day, sitting after sitting, I have no intention of seeing you settle in. Well, no. If you excuse me, I'll go get my wife. And then you proceed with the business I have. And then you'll leave. Very good, monsieur. And, for goodness sakes, remember that she has something of a temper? Something? You'll recall I've been treated to a rather ample proof of that already. Yes, well, don't go anywhere, you're losing. No emotions, nothing, no feeling. Of course, monsieur, you can rest assured that. And for goodness sakes, keep your mouth shut! Certainly! Not a comment! Not a word! <laughs> not a word, my lips are sealed. Besides, it's not the mother I wanted. The delightful creature in there, just a few feet away, just the thought of it makes me. Oh my, see how I tremble. And to think, just a ring of this bell, just a little tinkle, and she would walk through that door. Oh no, Antoine, you mustn't, you wouldn't dare if you did. Oh my, I did. Oh. Can you ring for me, Papa? Oh. Monsieur. Mademoiselle. I thought my father. Oh, uh, no, no, it was me. Uh, it was I. I mean, you must be surprised to see me, Mademoiselle. Surprised? Not at all, Monsieur. I know all about it. You do. Papa tried terribly hard not to lead on. Yes, I should imagine. You should have heard it, Monsieur. But I guessed. I always do, you know. Always? You mean this thing has happened before? I should say. Good heavens. Terribly often. Of course. I've lost <laughs> count. You've lost. But it's always the same, Monsieur. They come and they speak with Papa. And your mother. Yes, Mama too. And I'm never supposed to know that they're asking to marry me. But they're asking... Just like you, monsieur. But I'm not supposed to know. Just like... Now, there's an idea. But of course, I always do. No, I mean, we didn't fool you, mademoiselle. You, you knew all along that, that I love you, that I'm head over heels. It's really never very hard to tell, monsieur. And with all that practice... Well, I better be getting back now. Papa will be angry. He's promised this for today. This afternoon. What's a lovely bouquet? It's not a bouquet, silly. It's a tiara. You wear it? Oh, of course. Navy blue tea roses. Papa says they have to say. And to think, with your own two hands. Monsieur, what are you doing? With your own little fingers. And who wouldn't look pretty in a, a tarara like that? <laughs> <laughs> Even. Voila! Oh. What are you laughing at? You put it on upside down, monsieur. Upside down? What did I tell you? Head over heels. Here, let me. <laughs> See, I'm already throwing myself at your feet. Madame, if you were the lady 
a woman. I beg your pardon. I'll make a good guy and I'll marry this household. Monsieur, you! <laughs> you! You dare! Gustav, he hit you! I know, damn it, I know! This means a duel! That's right, teach him a lesson! A duel, monsieur? To the death! To the death? To the death? To the death? <laughs> Defend his honor with his blood! That's right, monsieur, his blood! Yes, or mine? If you'll excuse me, I'll go get the weapons. Yes, Gustav, the weapons. Perhaps I was a bit hasty. Well, monsieur, very nice. Mademoiselle? A duel with papa, a little fun when I asked to marry me, I must say. Whatever will you do? Oh, don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Yes, but you wouldn't kill papa, I hope. Oh, I, I didn't. Because if you did, <laughs> well, then I'd never be able to marry you. No, of course. I mean, never. Really. But then again, if he kills me, then... We wouldn't be much better off, would we, monsieur? No. You especially. Quite. <laughs> well, you can always apologize. I could do what? Apologize. Tell him you're sorry. A oh, falsetto, mademoiselle. A what? Falsetto. That's my name. My father was Italian. Oh, I, I didn't know. Anyway, swallow my pride, apologize. For me, and Monsieur, Monsieur Falsetto, that is, for us? Well, I guess as long as you put it like that, then. Monsieur, Sally, I thought I told you. Yes, Papa, I'm going, remember, for us? Monsieur? It's you. You understand how my honor has been attacked. Well, actually, I thought that we might... And that one of us must vanish from the face of the earth. Oh, because I, I thought... I thought... You thought, monsieur? I thought that we might be able to come to an amicable understanding. Understanding? On the cock? Ha! You must be mad. <laughs> to the death, monsieur. To the death. Now, as the the party, I have my choice of weapons. I've chosen a duel. With cups of milk! <laughs> what? Are we going to throw them at each other? Monsieur, this is serious! We're going to drink it! <laughs> what? I've scratched the matches from 72 matches, the sulfur from 72 matches, into one of these cups! Oh, which one? And the one who drinks it will suffer long, horrible convulsions until they drop dead. Good heavens, I've met my match! <laughs> Monsieur, this is serious. Sorry. Well, are you ready? Excuse me, monsieur. A duel is one thing, but I'm really not thirsty. Then you mean you're afraid? No, it's just that I promised your daughter that I might try to settle our differences. Impossible. What's done is done. Even if that means... Unacceptable. No apologies accepted. Now, as the infinite, I have my choice. I choose the way. Here. You swallow the blue one. Ha! You're out of your mind. Then you refuse? Of course I do. What do you take me for? You swallow the blue one. That's what I said. No, thank you, monsieur. You scratch the mask, you tell me which one to drink, that's a good one. But, no, I choose the white one, too. Here, you swallow the blue one. <laughs> but, protocol! I'm the offended! Protocol be damned. Have you no sense of honor, monsieur? No sense! No sense! Too much sense, thank you. In other words? In other words, if you insist on this, this duel. I do. Then I insist we let someone else do the choosing for us. A third party must you with no axe to grind. Very well. I'll go call my wife. They are, oh no, 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 no. Monsieur? She helped you scratch the magic. She knows, no, no, I prefer your daughter. Well, Celine, blood is thicker than water. I suppose. She'll make the right choice. Very well, my daughter. Very well. But not a wife, you understand? Not a wife. I'll go call her. Where the devil is that bell? The bell? It's usually here on the table. Yes, I remember. Strange. I seem to hear it. It must be 
somewhere. Listen, it stopped. Here I am. Oh, 
excuse me, it's so hard to tell the difference. You dear, sweet boy. Gustav, isn't he sweet? Oh, yes. Oh, a liar. Oh. <laughs> well, ish. That's right, ish. <laughs> well, there's one thing I'm sure of. I'll never stroke my chin chin again in the tram, at least not in the dark. I'll never what? Your chin chin indeed. Your chin chin, my foot boy. <laughs> I told you earlier, your mother, she... I was sitting in a tram, and... and I was with my dog, Mademoiselle, like, Gingy, and... Oh, <laughs> 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 